Morning. Um, this is a concert size Fender Fullerton limited edition ukulele. Um, it is modelled on the Telecaster shape and style. It has four in a line machine heads with the traditional sort of Telecaster headstock and you can see the Fender logo just on there. And they are encased vintage style machine heads. Um, you can see that it's got a scratch plate here as well, which obviously resembles the um, uh, Telecaster. Um, this one is a limited edition, as I said. I, um, I don't know what that actually means, whether that means that it's you know, not going to be made for much longer or they're only making a few of them, etc. Um, but the, they are available um, at the moment and they are also available, or versions of this are available, in the traditional Fender butterscotch sort of yellow finish um, and uh, sunburst etc all of these things are um, you know sort of standard with um, telecasters um, they all come as electro acoustics so they come with a fender preamp built in with a volume and tone pot and a built-in tuner easy accessible battery compartment here which takes two 2032 batteries um, and obviously the jack plug is on the bottom there. Not a strap button jack plug, just a jack plug. So you can fit your own strap buttons if you wish, um, but ultimately, or get them fitted professionally, but ultimately, you know, it comes as a relatively standard instrument. Um, as you can see, the finish on this is, is, is natural. It's a satin finish. The wood that it's made out of on the body is what they refer to as oven coal. That is basically a sustainable replacement for things like mahogany and stuff like that. It is a tone wood, so it will uh, mature with age, I'm assuming anyway. Um, but um, the fretboard is walnut rather than rosewood as well, so ethically sound. Um, and also you've got, as I say, the binding around the neck as well, which is a nice touch. It looks really nice and it feels really good. Um, frets are really well finished off as far as I can tell here um, and basically I've been using it for a little while and it stays in tune um, but it's got a built-in tuner anyway so that's easier to fix if, if necessary um, the actual uh, looks of it are you know to some people's taste others not I'm not here to you know talk about that really I'm just here to show you the ukulele and, and so you can hear it as well um, I will look at the intonation in a minute um, and basically play it acoustically but I will also plug it in as well um, so here it goes quite a nice sustain sustain nice tone um bit bright it is bright i mean that's one of the things as well you know with um, fender um, ukuleles they are brighter sounding um but quite loud bearing in mind it's not a full size body in that sense it's an electro acoustic it's got a very very slight um sort of dome to the bank to give it a little bit more bass but um you know you're going to be plugging this in hopefully but if not you can still play it acoustically quite happily um individual think uh, sort of finger picking style on this one um as i go Nice, very nice. Intonation, as you can hear, playing up there is good. Um, and important, again, for any ukulele, um, any instrument, to be honest with you, um, you know, the, the actual intonation is good. 
stays in tune as I say so you know for a, a beginner's ukulele and also sort of semi pro pro whatever you want to call yourself nowadays it doesn't really make any difference what instrument you use to be honest it's what you play um, and this is great um, this as I say is a limited edition um, this these I think are going to be available in, and the, in the UK and they're going to be probably sort of the better side of um, 200 pounds um, the actual um, standard finish ones uh, interestingly are um, around about 150 150 160 pounds something like that I think but Google it, you know, you'll find it on the internet. Um, overall, it is a really nice little look lately. Now, as I promised, what I'll do is I'll plug it in. It's plugged in straight away. Now, for for when I'm, I, I haven't done told people this before, but when I actually review ukuleles and I actually um, plug them in, I use these little amplifiers, these little flight amplifiers. These, I've never reviewed them, to be honest with you, um, but they are great. Um, they are very portable, they're very light. Um, they also work as a Bluetooth speaker, but it's got, a, importantly, a quarter inch jack input in, in it. Um, and they are really, really good, you know, just for a very basic amplified sound. Um, they're brilliant for practicing. And, you know, to be honest with you, um, if you've got the right acoustics, they're loud enough to play a lot of venues as well. Um, so just to give you an idea of what the EQ is like on this. So let me just turn the speaker up a little bit um, so you get an idea. Right, okay, so that's the speaker. You can, they're quite loud, these little amplifiers, as I say. Um, you know, so... Now, volume-wise on this, let's just play with the volume controls whilst I'm just drumming. So you've got your tone there. So I've just set this to what I think is a nice tone anyway. Maybe a little bit more EQ. Um, overall really good I mean I think for you know especially for the money um, they are exceptional ukuleles um, again you've got the Fender name which is always a good thing you know having a, a repertoire name if you like but again you know if you like that sort of style where you can actually get up to the sort of higher frets with the cutaway that's great concert size but with the cutaway feels bigger so you know I, I'm, I'm a fan of concert size ukuleles but also you know the ones with the cutaways like the seagull one that I reviewed um, but overall a good ukulele and highly recommend them uh, they don't come with a gig bag unfortunately um, but then again for that sort of money I'm not surprised um, but overall well built sounds good plugs in with tuner excellent thank you